AJ's Kitchen. Today is going to be another episode of Cheers, and what we're going to make today is a strawberry iced tea recipe that I found on Pinterest. So my friend Mary is coming over again today. If you um, didn't see the Cheers video on the cherry milkshakes, the grilled cherry milkshakes, check out that video. Mary joined me. She's a friend of mine that I game with. And so if you haven't seen her already, you can check out that video and see, um, meet her there. Um, and so the deal is that Mary has been doing a bunch of runs and she is doing um, a mud run today. And that's actually the same thing that she did um, last time. Uh, and we just decided that it would be fun to get together. And so on her way home from her run, she's coming here. And so I'm going to feed her and I'm going to provide her with some refreshments. So I thought this was a great way to start trying some of these Pinterest recipes. And so one thing that I realized I forgot to mention last time is that's exactly what that grilled cherry shake was, is it was a recipe I found on Pinterest. And so I'm gonna try to trot out some of those recipes. My pin boards are enormous and I just need to start clearing them out. So this recipe, I am gonna change it up a little bit. I'm following the quantities um, that are listed on the recipe for all the ingredients, but I am gonna change up the method a little bit. So the recipe calls for chopping up some strawberries, slicing up some strawberries, and then um, blending them with sugar, and then just blending all the ingredients. But I think it's going to be more flavorful and the sugar is going to dissolve better if I make it into more of a syrup consistency or a, you know, a cook consistency like I did with the cherry limeade last summer. So that's what I'm going to do. So I have here some gorgeous strawberries that I um, just found at my grocery store. The strawberries have been pretty nice lately. These are not local berries yet, sadly, which are always the best, but they are quite lovely and quite nice. And so when you're preparing the strawberries, it's important to not wash them until right before you're ready to use them. If you get them really wet and then you put them in the refrigerator, they're going to start molding very, very quickly and you're gonna be sad because you won't have any strawberries to enjoy. So you're just going to um, remove the stem and I like to just use a small paring knife and cut right down into the strawberry and around that core and that removes the stem and the core with it which is this you know white bit and it's not a real tasty bit so um, so I'm doing that and then I'm just going to slice it into quarters because they're going to go in the pan and I'm going to cook them up so I've kind of made pretty uniform size slices so the other thing is it's important to taste them because you need to know how much sugar you're going to add. So, hmm, these are pretty darn nice. A little bit tart. So the recipe calls for one third to one half cup of sugar. I'm gonna go ahead and use the full half cup because between the lemons that are going in here and the tartness of these strawberries, they're not quite as fully ripe as they could be. Um, they're going to need a little bit of extra sugar. So I'm just gonna heat my stove. Okay, so I'm gonna dump the strawberries right into the pot, which is a little hot. I left it preheating a little too long. And the quarter, or the half cup of sugar. I'm gonna let those cook down into a syrup. So the strawberries are a really nice consistency now. They've cooked down a bit. They're nice and juicy. And so I've turned off the heat and the next step is to take them to the blender, but I'm gonna let them cool off a little bit more first. So the strawberry syrup is all blended and I have here four cups of iced tea that I brewed earlier. And now I'm going to strain the pureed strawberry um, syrup into the iced tea. Oh, and I should probably grab a spoon. Spoonula. Um, so pour this in. I might need to do this a little bit in batches. It's still pretty thick, so it's not sinking right down in, so you just need to use a spoon or a spatula or something to kind of help it move and go down through the, through the sieve, which is working just fine. So actually, this is so smooth, I don't even think there's gonna be any strawberry chunks in here. 
I am going to just abandon this straining project because this actually looks really, really good. Yeah, so it's really smooth. So I'm just gonna pour it right into the tea. And then I have my lemon juice that I prepped earlier. And I'm gonna pour that right in too. And it's not very much lemon juice because this is an iced tea, not a lemonade. And I just give it a stir. And now we're set to assemble a glass of this strawberry iced tea. So I'm gonna put some ice in the glass and pour this strawberry iced tea right over that. Oh, it's a pretty, pretty color. And I'm gonna garnish it with a strawberry. And this will be all set for Mary when she comes inside and she can have a nice refreshing beverage. All right, so we have our strawberry iced tea and cheers. <laughs> To the mud run. Mm, that's actually pretty good. I like the tanginess of it. It is tangy, isn't it? It's not very sweet either. Or at least, <laughs> maybe it hasn't gotten to me yet. I'm not sure. The ice is like going to hold in all the good stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, come back. I'm definitely not. It's definitely not like super icky sweet sweet tea. Yeah. It's definitely it just really good. Like honestly, I'm loving. Tea drinker, and so like I can't taste it yet. <laughs> so I'm like, hmm. awesome. if it's in here, I can't. Awesome. <laughs> Not a tea drinker. Want to get away from the soda? Tea's a good option. Put strawberry in it. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> well, thanks everybody for watching. And as always, if you like these kind of videos, don't forget them the forget to give them the thumbs up so I know to make more like this and. Don't forget to subscribe so you can um, catch each and every one. And until next time when I see you here in my kitchen, ciao!